Hey guys, we're the only thing here, and today we're going to be talking about my new favorite gun, which is the FAL. Now, I think it is a very underrated gun uh, for most people, but if you're a more competitive player like I am, you can really take advantage of the benefits of having the FAL. Now, many semi-automatic weapons in the previous Call of Duty games have sort of been uh, not really been focused on as much as the submachine guns, but I think they are better than the submachine guns for many reasons. First off, when the developers and the de game designers make the game, they clearly make all the semi-automatic games more guns more powerful, or f more powerful per round, actually. But if you have a good trigger finger, uh, the amount of rounds you put out are similar to a very uh, a low rate of fire assault rifle. And uh, I have actually filmed myself making a scuff controller, which if you want to Google search scuffgaming.com, uh, they have uh, controllers running for around 120 bucks, and I was able to make my own, which greatly increased my trigger finger, and it is not a mod uh, that's illegal, it is a very legal mod, it's basically just trigger stops, and it was searched online, no one else really told you how to do it, but um, anyway, back to the FAL, it's very powerful per round, I think it takes only like three shots to kill someone at medium range in the chest and the legs, which is very uh, powerful compared to most guns, uh, it takes like two or three shots, at, takes like two shots at close range, one shot and hit at uh, close range. So basically, if you watch this gameplay, I'm just destroying these kids with the FAL, and they can't just, they can't get their shots off fast enough to kill me. And I like playing with the FAL more. It actually makes uh, my Call of Duty experience more enjoyable because you control how good you're doing. It's not like you're just there's a more of a, a user experience than just aiming because really with the other guns all you have to do is aim and hold the trigger down I mean you have to dodge and think and stuff but uh, it just adds another layer to it because when you have the FAL you have to pull the trigger fast too and you have to pull the trigger at different rates to conserve your ammo and think about when you're going to reload how much ammo you shot because like when I use other guns for example I sort of have an idea of how long I can shoot before I have to reload but with the FAL it's like it's you have to think because you can shoot at different fire rates and uh i've just been tearing into groups of people like when they run in groups like a group of three i just tear through them all it's not even funny um in this game i i was doing really good so my tip for you guys today is to uh when you go in into a call of duty game and you want to try something different are you getting a little bored of black ops 2 waiting for call of duty but ghost to come out or modern warfare 4 it's technically called call of duty ghosts um Throw in the FAL class. I have a class setup video uh, at the end of this video coming up. Um, well, class setup part of this video coming up, and I go over some basic stuff. But, uh, yeah, try out the FAL, guys. It, the rate of fire on it normally um, makes the gun not likable to people because they look at the stats and it's and they just think about semi automatic guns like, eh, it's not really good. But really, it is just amazing. With the millimeter sight on it, you, it doesn't really restrict the vision. You got the, ah, uh, it's just, I've been going like 80 and 20, 60 and 10, uh, 50 and 10, 5. Nike 80 has been like 10 for the past, like, week. Um, I have like f four of these gameplays that I do really good, and I just happened to pick this one because it's pretty short because it's a TDM. So, uh, this is Bill Remover Unicorn, guys, and here's my class if you want to see it. So to start off with the class, I start off with a uh, obviously the FAL, and I have the cyborg camo on there. I also have a millimeter scanner, a uh, quick draw handle, and a stock. The millimeter scanner is I wanted a sight different than the uh, FAL iron sights because I feel like uh, I don't know I just don't really like it. And the millimeter scanner is my uh, best option. Um, obviously the reflex would be next because uh, millimeter scanner you have to do, use the gun a lot and max out the level. But if you're just starting off, reflex would be good, but millimeter scanner, I like. It's, uh, it has a nice reticle. It uh, obviously does the scanning portion, which I really like. Um, so in it, you can kill campers that way. In the FAL, you can shoot through walls. If you have someone like up in a building, uh, you can shoot through the wall pretty easily and kill them. Next, we have the quick draw handle, and that's so you can aim down the sight quick if you're running and round and stuff. The FAL is only okay hip fire. Um, it can do medium. It can do uh, not. They can do pretty well in medium range, but uh, close range it's not too good. Then we have flak jacket uh, for. I'm actually running a lot more flak jacket than I used to. I always used to run ghost because I didn't want to be seen. But now I'm figuring, I can just, uh, if we both see each other around the same time. Um, I mean, 
if I have flak get on, they throw a grenade or something, I won't die. You know, I've been uh, not dying as much ever since I started using flak jacket, just for the fact that uh, if I'm planting a bomb or capturing the flag, I get more points that way and get my store streaks faster just because I'm using flak jacket. Then we have toughness, which is if I'm aiming down the site I, and someone shoots me, I won't flinch, so I can stand with the FAL, uh, which really depends on staying on for that half a second, uh, um, microsecond longer so I can uh, kill the enemy. Then we have dexterity, which uh, lets me pick up my gun a lot faster. It's uh, after sprinting. It's similar to uh, quick draw, so I just want to be able to pick that gun up as fast as possible and also switch it as fast as possible. I don't have a secondary just because the FAL has been... Uh, I want to load it out with all three attachments and use all my perks. Um, then for the primary uh, lethal and the uh, secondary tactical grenades. I just use Bouncing Betty. Uh, sometimes I use grenades, some text. doesn't really matter as long as you have one of each. A uh, stun maybe uh, would be good to rock charge or a stun to like throw into the uh, spawn and then run in there and shoot them all down with the FAL. So that's been working out good for me. Bouncing Bettys are okay. I'm probably going to switch back over to a grenade. But Bouncing Bettys are uh, not that bad in putting them in high traffic areas. So this has been Robot Unicorn, guys. Thanks for watching my FAL tip, and I hope you guys try it out. It's a great gun, and uh, you might see in the future uh, some more gameplay with the FAL. So guys, this has been Robot Unicorn. Click the videos at the end uh, if you want to see a random video in the previous video that I did. Um, if you guys didn't know, that is annotations. This has been Robot Unicorn, guys. Subscribe, thanks for watching, and if you like this tip and end up using the FAL or think you're going to use it, leave a like down below. Thanks for watching, peace.